It's good. It's Jack DeMillo reporting live for Jane Unchained. I'm outside of a slaughterhouse in LA with Toby Morris and Michael Rappaport. We just want to talk to you guys real quick about your experience uh, so far at the vigil. How's it been? Uh, it's heavy. Uh, it's sad. And uh, it happens every day. Thousands of pigs every day here. Right. For Farmer Jones. And so, see it? Did we actually see it like yeah, that? Yeah, see it. Bugged out. I, I, it's, it's my first, first time, time here. So yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely like a trip. Right. To see that. Because people just see it once it's served to you, then see it like behind the scenes, you know what I mean? Right, right. And those, those pigs are so hungry, so thirsty, like on top of each other in there. It's... So when you saw these pigs, were you thinking, oh, wow, I didn't realize it was this bad? Did you imagine that it would be a little bit more, I guess, humane or... I've been, nice I've been here a bunch of times, so I've right. seen it. I know it's a... What about you, Michael? Well, I mean, I had sort of had to process, uh, prepare to, to come here, so I had imagined, imagined it in my head because I was, I was, I was scared to come here. Yeah, to be honest. With you. you can't really imagine until you actually see it. You can see it online and stuff, but like to smell it and to get the right. energy of them, it's. And can I ask you why you were scared? Like, what were you scared of? Well, just how it would make me feel. That's probably what I was scared of. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. So that's what that's what I was concerned. Like how it would make me feel. Yeah. Because it's like you know, you, know, you see it all. People see it already served to them. They don't see like the behind the scenes. Yeah. Right. They're sitting in their own shit. They're fucking now, scared. They're fucking yeah. Dehydrated. They're you know what I mean on top of each other. We went for a fucking hot dog. Right. You know, like thousands of these pigs for the fucking Dodger dogs. I don't know. It's 2019. There's a lot of alternatives. You know what I mean? I Absolutely. And uh, so do you guys think that people who haven't come to a vigil yet, whether they're vegan or not, whether they're vegetarian or not, do you think they should come out to these I vigils? I definitely think you should come check it out. I definitely think it's, it's an interesting, you know, it's a, I'm going to say interesting. But I say interesting because it, it it definitely provokes a lot of thoughts. I mean, it just just saw it. It definitely provokes a lot of thoughts. It's definitely something that I'm gonna have have to mar you know marinate on how I feel about it. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to process it right away, but it's definitely yeah. an inch. It's it, it's worth coming to see because I think it's provocative and thought provoking. Probably conversation. You know, it's interesting. Right, right. It's real life. Just yeah, it's just what happens. This is the part of the process what bacon is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because the process of it all that nobody sees. Because I'm, I'm, I eat meat. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. And so specific. come down, it was a big deal. It was a really big deal, man. Right. I'm proud, I'm proud that he came down here. Has anyone ever challenged, well, I know you're vegan, but Michael, has anyone challenged you to go vegan or said, hey, you should I've go? explored, I've explored it with him. <laughs> I try, I try, I try. conversation, this motherfucker every day with this shit. I but try not to be preaching I'm open, you know, and I'm, I'm I, you know, I, I respect it and I understand He's really, he's good, man. But, but, you know, I mean, I, I, it's, it's not where I'm at right now, but my wife is actually. Yeah. So when I'm, when I'm with her, I'm vegetarian. Oh, there you go. She, she's the, she, she makes the food in the house. She. He likes to break break my balls, but he knows what's up. Like he knows yeah. the reality of me yeah. and all that shit. Yeah, know, yeah. So I, 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 you know, I respect the, the the culture, the lifestyle, all of it. You know, I have questions and stuff like that. Of course. But at the same time, a lot of vegans can turn people off who aren't vegans. There's a lot of preachy vegans who push it down. Dude, that I don't think is productive. I try to be teachy, not preachy. That's my motto. Right. But teachy, like, not preachy. Yeah, but you push it but down. Sometimes you're preachy, not teachy. Whatever. Sometimes, but if you push it down, <laughs> but if you shove it in somebody's face, sometimes it doesn't work like that. No, I don't think it's and good. I had never been like that. I don't think anybody life. wants to hear that shit. So, right. For from me, anything, whether for it's me, for me, for me, it's lead by anything. example and educate. The reason why my skin looks so good, looks so young, Fuck out of is here. because of my 33 years being vegan. <laughs> and I'm 49 and look like I'm fucking, you know, young. So whatever. It's my diet. I, I'm just leading by example. Michael, you the look positive. great too, by the way. Thank you. Matt, I just want you to know. Too, I think you look really hot. So fucking shot. Um, you know what I mean? Like, you have to educate people, not fucking shove it down the throat. Yeah, yeah. That's of just course. My, that's my way. Of course. You know? Well, that's what I like about these vigils is we're not like preaching to anybody. We're not yelling we're kind of just trying to it's bear witness peaceful. to it it's very chill here. very peaceful very love based as ellen i likes think to it's say. a very good learning experience for, for for people that like myself i think it's a good learning experience right and then you've got to process it however you process it exactly exactly so wherever you digest it and figure it out there but yeah the only thing that sucks about these things is that 
they have like three, four, five minutes with a human being nice to them, and then they go get killed. So right. it's actually frustrating for me to be here because you can't do anything about it. They've been treated like shit their whole lives by humans. Then they get this moment of humans to be nice yeah, to I them. I wonder what they think. And then they get killed two sec like fucking right. hour later. So what's the purpose? It doesn't make me any more vegan. It makes me more fucking angry. It makes me feel more helpless to right. be here than anything else. Because I can't jump the fence and do anything about it. I can. What am I going to do? Save a fucking th two pigs myself? So it's kind of hard to give them that five minutes of, of a human being nice to them. It's sad because right after that, they realize humans are pieces of shit. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard. That, that, that's the hard part for me. Yeah. So, it's frustrating, more than anything. Yeah, definitely. Because I can't do anything. I'm not. I'm already not eating them for 30 years. I, I saved so many, but to Only save 30? more, 33 years. But to save more, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's hard, man. Yeah. But this is the reality of it. This is. You need to open a pig sanctuary. Have you ever taken him to like? Have you ever taken him to like an animal sanctuary somewhere? This guy? Where I've the... been to one. Okay, He's nice. Trying to get me open in my backyard, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> but I was in one. Okay, yeah. cool. Do you did you connect with any of the animals or feel yeah, like? Yeah, I like the pigs. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I really think it's awesome that you're out here, Michael. Uh, it was really brave of you, especially knowing that you know you're not a full-on extremist vegan like me, or the other people here. Yeah, uh, I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. You guys are it's awesome. A good step, man. It's a great right step in the right direction. Yeah. You know? All right. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Good job, man. <laughs> Jack DeMille reporting live for Jane Unchained. We just got done interviewing a couple of famous people, Michael Radeberg and uh, Toby Morse, who's already vegan. We've got a vegan mom over here and a vegan baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so your baby is still alive even though uh, she's on a vegan diet? Yes, yes, and she's in the 90th percentile for her size and, and weight. Uh, she's only four months old, and okay. a lot of these pigs are getting chucked up here are four months old, and that's that's all they are. They're the same age as her, and they were just born a different species, so that's why they're on those trucks. And so that's where we're out here for a moment. Um, I don't know how long we'll be out here, but uh, you know we want to take a moment for these baby pigs, and uh, we're down the street, so here we are. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you all for tuning in. Yeah. We'll tell everybody what's happening. Well, we're hoping Michael uh, Rappaport tells people he's got 1.7 million followers on Instagram. We, we're hoping he kind of spreads the message, too. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, Toby Morris is here with his wife, uh, Moon, and Max, the son. Yeah, right there behind me. Right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Michael. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to get to head to the police. Um, we're going to keep everybody safe out here. And please come to a vigil if you can. It'll change your life. Awesome. Thank you, Ellen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ari. Thank you. Ari's the beautiful little baby right there, trying to eat her fingers. Yeah, she's teething. Oh, I see. She's teething. I'm going to give her back her toy. How about less fingers and more toy? It's <laughs> adorable. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We're outside of a slaughterhouse in Los Angeles, California. We're bearing witness to pigs on trucks before they're killed. And we uh, are giving them water, showing some love, uh, just talking to them, petting their snouts a little here and there and trying to hopefully uh, make, a, uh, make other people connect and you know, see what's going on, see where their food's coming from. A lot of people don't think about it. We're waiting to see another truck. Um, the last one we saw was about 20, 30 minutes ago. So we just missed it. Hopefully we'll get another truck soon. Bernie, would you like to say anything now that you're live in front of eight people <laughs> on the internet? All lives matter. Just choose compassion. Choose compassion. Is there a compassionate way to kill an animal, do you think? Not at all. And, uh, the more you come and visit these places of terror and slaughterhouses, the more real it becomes and the more you want to speak up for these animals. So I advise anyone to come out. Um, 
Animal Alliance Network does amazing things. Save Movement, there's many organizations that do their best to speak up for the animals. So definitely make your way out here if you haven't already. Thank you, Bernie. Daniel, Tashi, you guys look like you're deep in thought. I was just thinking about your question. What was my question? Is there a compassionate way to go? Yeah, either of you can answer that or... Because that's something, the reason I asked that question is because so many people talk about how, like, oh, well, the way we kill animals is wrong. We just need to do it in a more humane way. Right. So how I do you... I would encourage those people to consider what that way would be. How would they want to be killed, right? Right. Murder for any reason, barring what, like, self-defense. Any, any reason other than that is unjustifiable and therefore antithetic to compassion, right? Right. Well... Car Carol Zarbano, sorry, Daniel. Uh, this was going to save you quick. She said there's no compassionate way to kill an animal. Three cry emoji uh, emojis. What, what were you going to say? Carol's right. Yeah, yeah. She she was blunt and to the point, and she's absolutely yeah, right. Yeah. What makes you want to come out to these vigils? You're already vegan, and some people might say, "Oh, why are you torching yourself? Like, why are you putting yourself through this? You know, what's the point? What's what's the meaning for you to be out here?" Uh, well, there's actually so much love right here on this side of the street and the sidewalk over here uh, and every time I come out here it's roller coaster of emotions uh, definitely there's lows but there's also highs in terms of being with some of the most amazing people in the world that are all right here together working for the same goal and we're working for a new world better world, peace, love, justice, and this is front and center, this is where it's happening, so it, it always feels uplifting being here, as well as very sad to see these pigs go into the slaughterhouse, but we are going to change Farmer John's into a animal sanctuary, and it's not going to be a slaughterhouse for very long. Land, or Officer Landa. Yeah, his last name is Landa. Officer Landa. Sorry, Daniel. Uh, yeah, so it sounds like the sadness and maybe the anger or whatever negative emotions you get from this is worth it, considering what your goal is and what you want to do. Absolutely. I recommend everybody come out here. Uh, so much is happening here, and, um, and these are the front lines of, of a new world that we all that we all want to live in, and a world where sentient beings don't have their throats slit. Right. Uh, so yeah, no, this is definitely the place to be, and I highly recommend that everybody come out here once for the experience, and then keep coming back. Well, thank you for your words, Daniel. Always a pleasure talking to you. All right, bud. You got it. This is the so this is like the worst it's ever smelled. I think. I've been coming. Been coming to these vigils for a while. Would you guys agree this is probably the worst? Yeah. Hey everybody. That I've experienced for sure. Right. I just want to say thank you guys for being here uh, on behalf of myself, Jeannie, Jack, Sergio, Ellen, Aria. Um, um, can you, uh, actually, is anybody here for the first time? Can you raise your hand? If you're here for the first time, give a round of applause, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. You guys are amazing. Without you guys, there would be no Animal Alliance Network. So thank you guys for being here. Um, and we want to thank, especially the Vernon Police Department. Officer Landa is on duty tonight, and you know, keeping us safe. So a round of applause to to him and, and the Vernon Police Department. Because without them, there wouldn't be this amazing special community of, uh, that we have right now. We have some ground rules, and I'm going to let uh, Sergio uh, go over them right now. Hey guys. Hello, everyone. So, uh, the ground rules, when the truck drivers come to a stop, he wants to approach the truck at a very... So again, when we tell you to, um, when the trucks come to a full stop, 
approach very calmly and lovingly. We don't want to agitate the pigs more than they already are. Some of these trucks have gone in transportation for one to three days. So because of that, let's just be mindful of them. If they're asleep, just let them sleep. If they are awake and they want water, obviously give them water. Our number one priority here is to give water to the pigs. Um, secondary is obviously shed light to the to what's happening here. So that means take video, video footage, um, anything just to put it on social media, help uh, spread this. Um, again, when we tell you to back up, back up. It's nothing um, out of ego or us trying to be mean or anything like that. It's out of safety for us, um, especially because um, sometimes we may drop a phone or drop whatever into the truck. It can be very dangerous. So because of that, let's just back up when we are told to back up. You can still give water from a distance, but again, it's out of safety. Uh, ideally, we want at least two to three people across the street right in front of the, the gate when there's a truck in front, uh, just to ensure that they would be able to stop. Um, otherwise, it's a little bit harder. There are occasions when the police have to take uh, have to attend to another matter so because of that there won't be as much uh, safety on that side so when that happens stay on the sidewalk as much as possible um, ideally all the time but especially when there's no police in front thank you Good evening, everybody. Um, so for those of you who are new, I just wanted to share with you um, a little bit of history on the SAFE movement. The SAFE movement started in 2010 when Anita co-founded uh, the Toronto Pig Safe. In 2015, she was arrested and charged with criminal mischief for giving water to pigs outside of a slaughterhouse in Burlington. She was arrested and faced years of imprisonment for this act of kindness towards animals that could never thank or repay her mercy and would soon meet their fate inside of that slaughterhouse. Through systematic pig vigils, which are events that allow activists to see pigs as they enter the slaughterhouse, they were able to disrupt business, raise awareness, and that slaughterhouse eventually shut down. Jack DeMillo reporting live for Jane Unchained. We're outside of a slaughterhouse in Los Angeles, California at a pig vigil hosted by Animal Alliance Network. These are some of the signs that we have. They're mostly, uh, their main purpose is just to hold them when we're in front of this gate right here. So we're not necessarily holding them up to try and convert people, although if that happens, we're not going to be upset about that, uh, to convert people to veganism, that is. But mostly just so that when the truck comes, we can uh, easily be seen. So by holding the sign, obviously we're more visible. And yes, the, the signs have a little message on them. Like this one over here says, let them live. This one says, honk for mercy. Then you've got the Animal Alliance Network one right here. This is one of my favorites. No hate for truckers. We're here for the pigs. And that's really important for Animal Alliance Network. It's a love-based movement. We're not here to judge or yell at anybody. We're just basically here to bear witness to the pigs. And uh, always a pleasure being out here. I'm here every Wednesday. Ellen made it out tonight with her little baby, Ari. I just want to say, you know, you guys are amazing. We love you guys. We truly, truly do. Without you guys, there would be no movement. And, um, but we're just out here just trying to, you know, reawaken everybody's compassion. We're trying to spread as much peace, spread as much love as possible. So then, you know, I, I've been here, I've been coming here for like two years, but I don't want to keep having to continue to come here. You feel me? Like, I want this place to... Either, you know, obviously, I don't even want this place to shut down. I want this place to turn into a plant-based company. I, I, I have nothing, to, you know, we have nothing to do, I mean, against the workers. It's not their fault. And we just want to just bring as much peace and as much love as soon as possible. So, you know, I... I we personally just try to do as much as we personally can, whether that's, you know, if you're a cook, record what you're cooking, post what you're, what you're, what you're cooking, post pictures, share videos, Things like that. Like if you're at the store, you can post a, put a sticker that will get people to start reading stuff. If you use social media, just post something about that. That will it's thought provoking. It will get people to you know start thinking about their choices. Simple things like that. 
we just want, I just want, you know, everybody to just do as much as they can so we can bring as much peace and love to these animals as soon as possible. Because, you know, the more we do now, the sooner that their suffering ends, the sooner we'll get closer to peace and love. And that's all we want. You know, we don't want to just keep on coming here just to keep on coming here. We want to keep coming. We don't, we just, we want to have this, this, this bridge of positivity and compassion spread across the entire world so then this, you know, this place, uh, they, they convert into, you know, plant-based companies or whatever. So, um, I just want to tell you guys I love you guys, but let's do more, man. The more we do, like I said, is, is we'll get closer to peace and love. So, thank you guys. And like I said, it's all about safety. We're, we're not here to, to yell at you, but we have to. It, you know, we're, we're liable for you guys. So, well, please, when we say back up, please back up. And not just, not even just one foot. I see a lot of you guys, especially a lot of you guys who have been coming here a lot. Do not just back up one foot. Back up as far back as you can. The sprays that you have can reach and can still reach from the sidewalk. So please, it's about safety. And um, so yeah, thank you guys. We love you and um, be safe. Thank you. Oh, oh sorry. Um, <laughs> Tashi has an announcement to make. Sorry. Okay. Hey everyone. Um, so basically, I am going to be organizing. Um, what is essentially going to be a troop of activists that are going to be doing all kinds of shock art demonstrations. Um, so the first event is going to be a Halloween themed demonstration. As many people that want to come are welcome. Uh, basically create a costume that has something to do with the movement that is near to your heart. Um, you know, as you know, lots of people are waking up to the climate aspects and to the health aspects. So what I found is the cruelty stuff is what kind of like puts the nail in for a lot of people that makes them want to definitely change. So um, it would be great if your costume involves some kind of aspect of the cruelty, but it can obviously be about the climate, you know, health, whatever, whatever you want, free reign. Uh, basically, we're going to be at Hollywood Boulevard, uh, 5 to 8 p.m. on the 11th of October. Just basically, it's going to be a demonstration, not a protest, nothing like that. We're just going to be lining up letting our costumes speak for themselves, letting passers-by see them. Um, if anyone doesn't want to do a costume or they prefer to do outreach, um, let me know, and I'd like to have a few people that are there. Um, like, for example, Leah's going to be a handmaid, and she's going to have um, a cow's head on. Oh, wait. So Leah's going to be a handmaid and she's going to have a cow's mask on and so you know there might be people who would say what does a handmaid have to do with cows and there, it would be great to have someone there to explain to them that the handmaid's tale is the dairy industry. You know lots of people don't know that cows ever had to be pregnant um, to produce milk or that they were raped and all of that stuff. Um, so yeah whatever you want if you have any questions let me know October 11th 5 to 8 p.m. Um, the handle that's going to be organizing all of these events that I'm doing is called Silence for the Lambs. So it's at Silence for the Lambs. Um, DM them or DM me if you have any questions. Thank you. And we also have Brian, uh, one of the organizers for LA Animal Safe, to make an announcement. Hello, everyone. So uh, our chicken vigil was last week, which means our cow vigil is this week. Our cow vigil is going to be a, a little bit different this week. It's usually on the evenings on Sunday. We're going to change it up because there's been a, a change in the delivery schedule at that particular slaughterhouse. So the cow vigil is at Manning Beef Company. It's about 15 or 20 minutes down the 60, not too far from here. But this week we're going to be doing it from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Friday morning. So it's a similar time slot to the chicken vigil. We want to be there right when they start slaughtering the cows at 5 a.m. So we're going to do an early Friday morning vigil. As always, you can always check the vigil schedule on the uh, Instagram page for LA Animal Save. But it'll be this Friday morning, 4 to 6, at Manning Beef Company in Pico Rivera. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. So thank you, guys. We love you. Be safe. Oh, Caesar's got an announcement to make. Is it not a moot? We, we can get some not a move away. <laughs> On a serious note, thank you everybody for being out here. It's amazing. Love all of you. It takes each and every one of us to be out here together, united to, to make this happen. Big shout out to Animal Alliance Network and everybody. Uh, 
So October 22nd, plenty of notice. We're going to be out trying to get national coverage again. So bring your biggest, boldest signs. Should be like simple one, two, three words. But uh, we got plenty of time, but I just want to put on your calendar October 22nd. It's a Tuesday evening. Uh, you can check out We Are All Everywhere Forever IG. And I uh, just wanted to put that out there. Keep it short. Peace. Thank you, brother. You're amazing. Peace, All right. Peace. peace, love, everybody. Thank you. I am still totally alive. Uh, let's see. Um, I wanted to read. If you're not vegan, you're fucking tripping, and you need to go vegan. That's my last thing that I have to say for your live stream, Jack. Oh, that's the last thing. I was actually want to talk to you for another oh. 40 minutes. But, oh, okay, uh, um, let's do it. Um, somebody, uh, Sean Smith said, "Piece of meat," as in P E A C E of meat. It's like play on words. I don't know if that was sarcasm or what that meant, or what that's about. I don't understand. Tom Bensel says, feel so bad for these pigs. Um, Are you vegan, Tom Bensel? I think so. He said, sentient beans, explanation point. I, usually when I hear someone say sentient beans, I think they're probably vegan. Yeah. So that's usually what people talk about. One of our favorite about. words. Right. Um, why are you guys out here tonight? Can we talk about that a little bit more? Why are we outside of a slaughterhouse? Um, we don't have to mention which slaughterhouse it is, by the way. Uh, but... Can you tell me why you're outside of a slaughterhouse on a Wednesday night? Um, for me, it's more so about being there for the pigs even than doing content or anything like that. Because, um, you know, we say this all the time, but these pigs have never been shown any kind of love or compassion. Um, their, their entire schema of a human is just abuse and confinement and torture and you know, their fear of us. Um, and so when they see us, a lot of the times they're scared of us. And, you know, they scream when we're just trying to give them water. So imagine if they're screaming when we're there just trying to love them and give them water. Imagine how they scream behind this wall. And if you haven't been here, you should come and hear them scream behind this wall. Because my mom said it so many times, it sounds like women screaming. I mean, the, the shrill cry of a pig is something that you can never erase from your mind. And um, I agree. I, I'm kind of ranting, but we're here to give them water. We're here to show them a little bit of love and obviously to do content because people see us streaming these vigils all the time. And, you know, for a lot of people, that's kind of the thing that makes them make the connection. You know, you can repost a hundred different memes and infographics, but there's something about seeing them. There's something about looking into their eyes. You know, some of them have green eyes. Some of them have blue eyes. Some of them have brown eyes. Um, you know, they're beings in there. This is one of the smartest species on the planet. Right. Um, and so, yeah, you, you got to be there. You got to look at them. You got to show people, you know, what they're experiencing. Um, yeah, By the so way, if you've never been, come. At least once. I want you to know that Tom Fensel said, yes, explanation point, he's vegan. Okay. He said, you're Sweet. showing compassion for these animals. Larissa says that was sarcasm. Jack Sean Smith is a troll and loves being one. How about that? Um, and then Tom Vinsel said, yeah, fourth sm most intelligent animal, smarter than dogs. So it sounds like he's vegan. Yeah. Leah, did you have anything to say? Besides Roll Tide, I know you're probably going to say that. <laughs> Roll Tide. Yeah. Um, Thank you. The reason I'm out here is because it's two minutes that I can spend with the trucks, and that's two minutes of positive energy that I can give over to that being. It's right. probably never felt positive energy its whole life. So I don't even feel like I can not come out here one week. I feel like I have to be here every week just right. so that I can share that time with the pigs. Right. Um, I think bearing witness is a very powerful tool when it comes to being an activist. Um, since the first time I came out here, I've continued to grow in my knowledge of what's going on with these animals, mm -hmm. and it makes me want to just learn more. Um, I think that yeah. everybody needs to bear witness uh, if they're an activist. It gives you another layer of uh, knowledge to go out there and teach people why they need to quit eating animals. Right. And I know you guys know this, but for those of you watching... Me, the guy holding the camera, I'm, I'm very vegan as well. And for me, the anger that I feel while I'm here actually fuels me and it gets me to want to do more activism. Would you f say it's kind of the same yeah, yeah. same way? I know Yoda from Star Wars said that uh, anger leads to the dark side, but he was wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's so many different strains of anger. I was hoping you would laugh more at that. Oh, well, I'm not, I'm not a Star Wars fan. I don't know anything about Star Wars. Oh, okay. But, but, but Nerd. I do know something about... Um, the last thing you were saying? 
we were talking about. Oh, oh, how it incites, you know, it, it yeah. sort of, yeah. Use it, it as a it, tool. It lights a fire for sure. There yeah. was a long time that I was only doing sort of social media outreach and activism. And, Which is you know, great. that's great, but it, like, if you're one of those people who is vegan and you're sort of very isolated, you don't know anyone that's vegan, all your friends that are vegan are Instagram friends who you've never met, you're probably suffering and dying inside, especially if you're exposing yourself to the, as the cruelty aspects. Yes. Um, come out and do physical activism, not just because, you know, especially at something like a vigil where you're actually looking into the animal's eyes firsthand right before they go into slaughter, that lights a fire under you like nothing else, but also connecting with the community. It's like a whole new family. Um, you know, you feel like one, you feel like so empowered, like you can make a difference, that people are out here making a difference. It it just, you become like a new person once you get out and do physical activism. So yeah. come out, yeah, stop making excuses. I made so many excuses for so long about why I couldn't come to the pig vigils and I wasn't ready and yada yada. You are ready, trust me. Um, it's always going to be hard. One year from now, tomorrow, you know, it's going to be hard, but, you know, you will develop thicker skin, unfortunately. There is kind of somewhat of a numbing effect. Um, yeah. But but it's good, you know. More good will come out of it than hurt any hurt that you'll experience. Yeah, for me, I remember thinking to myself, like, oh, I don't want to go to vigil. It's going to be too tough. And I realized this sounds like me when I was saying, oh, I don't want to give up meat. It's going to be too tough. It's like you know it's the right thing to do, and you know deep down you want to do it, but you let the fear or the, the doubt take over. But I think you guys would agree, it's, or you ladies, sorry, would agree that you have to just go for it. <laughs> yep. Got to rip that Band-Aid off, metaphorically speaking, and, and just just take a chance. And yeah. It sounds like uh, it's worth it coming out here, so that's pretty awesome. Absolutely. Tom yeah. says, uh, oh, he's saying a whole bunch. You get, See, you got him fired up. He's like, don't understand how anyone could eat pork after seeing this. Exclamation point. Most of the pork is sent to China. They outsource pollution here, mainly in the Midwest. And he says, I live in Chicago, a bit far away. Yeah, Tom, I would look into uh, Chicago chapters to see if there's vigils that you can attend, man. Um, I'm sure that you'd both agree that it's just so amazing. It's life-changing. <laughs> yeah, if there's not one right in Chicago, there's bound to be one um, really close by, maybe right. in Litchfield. There's always something you can do. So if, yes. you, if you live somewhere where there isn't a chapter of some organization that's doing some kind of vigil, you can go out, you can create content, you know, you can film videos of yourself saying something that's important to you. Um, you know, there's there's slaughterhouses everywhere, so you can always bear witness in some way. There's something you have to offer, so don't don't let yourself fall into, you know, a pit of excuses where there, you know, there's nothing I can do or, or whatever, because you know what, I've, this is something that's been dawning on me more and more, is that at least as important as it is for us to get people to go vegan, it is for us to get vegans to become activists because you know like I as one person can only do so much Jack can only do so much but like if I can get convince someone who's vegan to be more of an activist think about how much more exponential the reach is then and you know what I mean yeah. we need to build a legion of activists so um, yes absolutely well thank you for your words ladies I really appreciate it. If you're not vegan, go fucking vegan. It's not that hard. Stop saying it's so hard. It's not that hard. It's easy. There's they have the Carl's Jr. vegan everything. options now. Mc, Mc, no, not McDonald's. Um, which sucks because McDonald's nowhere. is such a great restaurant. Uh, Burger King, Carl's Jr., Del Taco, Taco yeah. Bell. Yeah. Even if you live in BF nowhere and you don't have access to all these fancy vegan restaurants that we have in the big cities near the coast and stuff, um... Beans are vegan, grains are vegan, legumes are vegan, you know what I mean? I've all never the, heard of all those. All the food that's truly good for you, that we should all be consuming a lot of, are dirt cheap, even when organic, and can be found anywhere. So, um, no excuses. All right, I'm done. I, I talked awesome. too much already. <laughs> we love it. We need to see more rants like that. No, we still have 30 more minutes. I'm kidding. Thank you, ladies. One love. Thank you. All right. That was the passionate Tashi. She's definitely not shy about how she feels with veganism, which is awesome. We love those personalities for the camera. Definitely gets people's attention. Definitely gets people to think a little bit about their food and where it comes from and animal cruelty, animal exploitation. Awesome having all these activists out here tonight. 
Don't know when another truck is going to come, so uh, I'm going to call it a night for tonight. Once again, this is Jackson Miller reporting live for Jane Unchained. Thank you, guys. See you next time.